saying my instagram channel is learn with robin let's start the introduction of what is dilingo english tips hello hi hello guys welcome back to my channel this is dilingo english test series so today's topic is what is dilingo english test so a lot of student they are asking about sir we need to know what is dilingo english test because it's a new test and we don't know nothing about that hi let's start with ranbir saying my instagram channel is learn with robin you can follow me and you can if you like this video you can hit the like button so let's start with the overview of what is dilingo english test so guys uh, the dilingo english test is a standardized test and english language test but is designed to be internet first rather than the paper based uh, because the short form is det which is developed by dilingo and grew in popularity and acceptance at university so now in uk we talk about 4000 university institution they are accepting dilingo english test but they are not considering like pt academic or uk bi pt because the power of dilingo is still in process mode they are growing a lot of institutions they are hesitating to accept dilingo english test because you know uh, if you are coming from the asian country uh, canadian immigration they will not accept dilingo english test so please mark my words okay the fee of this test is uh, $59 which is uh, quite cheaper instead of ielts and pt academic and it's uh, developed by dilingo which is the headquarters is based in uh, usa and the scoring criteria is uh, from 10 to 160 uh it started in 2016 i think and uh, the popularity began to start in covid-19 in the pandemic in the pandemic session because uh, uh, the lo- a lot of university they said okay so now you should to give your exam from home based you know because they are worrying about uh, the infection of covid-19 so that's why uh, they said you can do your exam from your home so that's why the popularity of dilingo started uh, from 2019 but it started uh, from 2016 okay uh, it can it conclude uh, i think four section uh, it uh, to evaluate your ability to read write speak and uh, you know the listening your the, the ability of test takers and i will also mention uh, what kind of modules uh, inside this dilingo english test first of all you will see literacy uh, comprehension conversation and production literacy means how well you can read and write your english comprehension your listening and your reading skills conversation part it contribute assess your uh, speaking and listening ability on the other side production task how good you are at speaking and writing so these are the four modules which will contribute in dilingo english test so be ready to prepare before to start dilingo english test there is, there are a lot of videos on i think dilingo english test website please check it out because when you start your dilingo english test uh, you will face a lot of difficulty your passport scan Uh, your face scan and uh, some kind of other software set- setups you ne- you should to uh, you know uh, uninstall before to attempt your dilingo english test so it's quite easy instead of ielts and pt you should to go on you should to test it on and there are i think two payment criteria it's uh, the fee is first of all if you want to book one exam 59 dollar if you want to book two exam if you are not confident well if 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 you are worrying about your speaking or writing skills you can buy guide two exam i think it's from my suggestion because you know if you gonna skip that one exam even you have chance to win your on the second exam so try hard and do it well preparation if you have any kind of question please do comment in the youtube uh, video section and if you have uh, if you want classes i do classes so you can contact via me uh, learn with robin instagram channel i will mention on my video and as you know uh, my youtube channel is dilingo english test which i am giving you update every week as much i can i am giving to you guys so thank you so much i hope so you understand what is dilingo english test and uh, i wanna include one more question so um, in the video section i have uh, receiving like every week they said what is the passing marks 
of dealing Hello guys, in the end test. of the video, I so gotta tell you to all of you, if you have any kind of difficulty, please do, is, do comment uh, in the video section. So we will if you give you reward back guys, as soon as you possible. Are hard, so thank you, you so much guys. Uh, you Good luck for your next exam. Dealing going English test. Stay tuned of Dealing going English test. YouTube channel are. Uh, who did graduation from India from any kind of uh, from any part of the world and but according to my suggestion if you have 120 overall score that's the legitimate that's the perfect score you have achieved in Dilingo English test so if you if you got below 110 it's uh, very difficult uh, to get admission in the US universities and UK universities so it's um, now my suggestion to all of you guys please minimum to minimum 110 but not below in each part 100 okay so thank you so much guys if you like if you like this information if you uh, you know want to share this video i hope so it's gonna be helpful to other students who are preparing for the lingo english test so thank you so much if you want another video please do comment in the comment section so i will see you in the next video thank you so much guys god bless you